Mesa, dig us out of this depression trench. Talk about Evo, unless that's also depressing. Uh, I mean, I there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people uh, uh, claiming that this is the death of the FGC. It's not. It's not. So, Doesn't so what? The death happened? of the FGC come like at least two times a year. Uh, essentially, yeah. Uh, the, sorry, the, 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 the last, the last big one was when Capcom banned Thuggery. Um, uh, um, so basically, what happened was um, in a joint partnership with um, some financial company that I've no, never heard of before, Sony bought um, Evolution Tournament. Uh, it's the biggest fighting game tournament in the world. Happen. Well, Does Evolution to Tournament have anything to do with Evo by any chance? Uh, actually, that's a misconception. Uh, the, the oh, really? I, I was just being an ass. They absolutely do. That is the same thing. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> um, Flipped it on you, Jose. Oh, you gotta be it. careful. <laughs> yeah, God, um, God. Damn it. Um... So yeah, uh, Evolution is the biggest fighting game tournament that used to happen every year. Skipped last year because <laughs> because some not great stuff happened. Uh, um, and um, and uh, it's it's um, yeah, it is the biggest premiere of the of the year for every fighting game that there's out. The, the every the company holds uh, basically a special year long string of tournaments that that culminates. In a final tournament at the end of the year, and every single time, Evo tournament is the tournament that gives you the most amount of points for that final tournament. It has been going on since like 2002, 2003, um, uh, and um, it's it's it's, uh, it's most famous because it um, uh, it, uh, it was started by uh, the Cannon Brothers, who are now currently working at Riot to make Project L. Uh, the the whatever it's called the League of Legends fighting game. Um, and so so the reason why I personally think that Sony buying Evo, um, isn't really that big of a deal, is that uh, Sony I don't think Sony would want to limit uh, the type of games that's played at Evo because that's the big fear. The big fear is that things like Killer Instinct, which is exclusive mm-hmm. to Xbox, or Smash Brothers, which is exclusive to Nintendo consoles, would be limited in its capacity at, at the at these tournaments. I really don't think so. Um, Do you think there would be any action on Nintendo's end? For Whoa, week- so actually Nintendo put out that's a the- statement. It was kind of yeah. a lukewarm statement. Yeah, it 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 like like it basically said, "Oh, we are we are happy that that like what happened with like Evo is great. We will keep you updated on supporting our fighting games at Evo in the near future." That, that's basically what it mm-hmm. said. I guess yeah. I guess the reason why I brought up Nintendo is because they were so fickle even before Absolutely. this whole thing. Yeah. So. Yeah, they were the ones who did the whole like we're not going to authorize an online tournament because of the fact that mm-hmm. it uses uh, modding software we don't approve. However, mm-hmm. we can't stop anyone from doing physical, and then everyone was like, "So you really just want people to get Corona instead of approving this?" Okay, Nintendo. Well, even mm-hmm. before, from like Which... years ago, they they just straight up didn't want their mm-hmm. games being like live streamed. Um, mm-hmm. Or it's like, oh yeah, right? that was the big thing in what like yeah. 2015. Was when I still think took yeah. off. I think they're still think weird about that shit. Part of it is. I, I actually really because I remember the last time there was a major, um, like uh, Smash Brothers wasn't uh, Nintendo tried to stop Smash Brothers from being played. There was a massive campaign and they changed their tune relatively quickly. Um, I I'm gonna I'm gonna say I think that, I think that might have been Reggie, but I don't I, I have no idea because you know hey guess what Reggie's gone and all of a sudden yeah you know so. And let's not pretend Me- Reggie's also like a, a friend of the fans. He's oh, I'm not. I'm not <laughs> saying that. I'm not saying that is. I'm just saying that he probably recognizes that it's a stupid business decision to not let this thing happen. You're, you're yeah. saying Reggie isn't my personal best friend, Brian? <laughs> I'm saying he's not your uncle that works at Nintendo. Uh, mm-hmm. Mesa, <laughs> like, so I, I'm not like that into competitive fighting. I watched the the like street fighter evo tournaments just because i thought it was mm-hmm. a lot of fun didn't yeah. sony wasn't sony already one of the sponsors of evo yes. to begin with? sony is oh, a big is, sponsor so for like, many games at evo so this is just that- an ex- <laughs> this is essentially just an expansion and um basically at the end of the day um what what's 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 the last letter of fgc mean community yeah, it's a community. 
if they don't like what Evo becomes, they'll just leave. Mm-hmm. And so it's it, it is unfortunate that you know the largest fighting game of the world, probably fighting game tournament of the world, you know, uh, would end in such a way. But you know, if 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 that if that's how it be, that's how it be. Um, we have like, places I- like CEO in in Florida. Um, and, um, and, you know, tournaments all over the, all over the, the country. Correct. Um, I actually you know. honestly don't see that happen because Sony seemed to be like, we're going to keep it yeah. the same. Again, they're like, they're like, we're not think, changing anything. I don't think that this is going to be a negative, but even if it is, we would just leave. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. As a side point, correct me if I'm wrong. If a game is multi-platform, don't they typically always play on Sony consoles for whatever I'm pretty reason? Sure Not they do. nor. I mean, it depends on depends on generation. So, like the official like the official console for Street Fighter Four was Xbox. Um, it was Xbox 360. Um, that that was the main platform that I was at every tournament. Um, but you know, Street Fighter Five exclusive to PlayStation was held on PlayStation. Okay. Um, whatever Street Fighter Six may become, most likely will stay PlayStation just because it's an easier transition than Is switching it back. Mortal to Mortal Kombat Eleven held on PlayStation. Yes. Yeah. Right now, yeah. majority, next, not majority, all of them are held on PlayStation. Um, while like the 360 generation, that was on mostly 360. Uh, mainly because um there was um some there's uh, some slight performance issues on PS3 that caused it to be not as smooth as 360 um uh, hopefully that 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 era of that type of difference is gone is there a second like evo equivalent that people would jump to right away or would, would it be like something else starting from the ground up most likely it'd be uh i think CEO is probably the biggest secondary right now CEO is in Florida. It's in um used to be in no, we used to be in Orlando, but now it's in Daytona, I think. I um, and it's run by Jabali. I know we have War in the North in New York, but I've heard mm-hmm. middling to mediocre things about that um, from a friend. I have not been to it myself. A funny story. Mm-hmm. I was actually going to before COVID, before everything else. I wanted to. I wanted to go to. Um, I wanted to tr- play. I you know, I bought uh, Modern Mortal Mortal Warfare. I bought Mortal Kombat 11 at launch. Um, was actually going to try and get into the competitive scene, um, and I just was not able to get my shit together for that that year. And then COVID mm-hmm. happened, so just any desire. I still want to get back into it, but like uh, the desire to really get in there and just go to tournaments and have fun and learn the har- learn the mm-hmm. hard way. Just New York also being has. Thing I could do. New York also has one of the biggest weekly tournaments. Um, uh, NLBC. I think I I think I either it? follow a Twitter account that promotes mm. those or something. What were you gonna say, Sam? Yeah. Is it? I know. I only know of one other fighting game tournament because I'm from Chicago and I have a lot of friends who I knew who were fighting game people who would go to this. Is it Frosty Fostings in Chicago or is that in Canada? I believe that's in Chicago. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because I I had a bunch of friends who who would go to that. And they would always tell me how big it, it it was. Frosty Fosting is is um is definitely um relatively re- a relatively large one. Um, well, Canada, yeah, Canada has Canada Cup. Um, over here we have over here in California we have um um shoot I forgot the name of it. Um. Uh. Oh, I was north. It, 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 it's, it's, there's one in Sacramento. I was gonna go last year, but you know, the end times uh, happen. The end, the end yeah, time. the temporary. I'm happy end the end time. times look like they, they might end soon, though. So that's pretty good. The after um, the before times. The long, long ago. I mean, I <laughs> yeah, don't. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm just. I'm just here to see Kim mm. competitive strive when that starts up. Yeah. Hopefully, <laughs> I'm just gonna watch competitive hope, drive. I can't. Hopefully, I can't hopefully, get into hopefully. competitive guilty gear. I just can't do it. It's Rock too hell, Blade. Too, too flashy. <laughs> hopefully, 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 um, final round in Atlanta comes back because that was the biggest early mm. year tournament, and it, it was it was it was really cool. And I hope that comes back, but. You know, isn't they had that, to cancel it last year announced? and it looked really bad. Isn't that where they announced Guilty Gear Strive? I swear they announced Strive at some at a fighting tournament. Was it at Evo? Was it Evo last year? No, two two years ago I met when they when they announced Strive. 
It might have been. I, I, uh, because it, I just know because they played that song first. And I, yeah, and I just yeah. remember I saw the trailer. I forget. Yeah, I forget where Smell the Game first came out. But I just know, like, I mean, I like like you, Blade, I've been wanting to get into competitive strive. Me and my boyfriend play. And, uh, like, I mean, we, we play incredibly casu- casually. Like, I only play, like, one one character. But Guilty Gear, to me, has been one of the easiest fighting games that I've ever learned. And I say that, like, oh, like, I, like it was easy to, to learn, but it's the only fighting game I've ever played that I want to master, that I want to get, like, really, really good at. It's the meta that intimidates me about Guilty Gear. I've always been able to, like, here's the care, here's a fast character that I like. Okay, cool. I just, I just can't figure out the meta. It's, it's like how in Skullgirls, I have fun <sighs> playing it, but I still can't figure out the meta of like multiple, t- like a team of three with assists versus Sh- one powered up character. Strive might be a good jumping in point. Yeah, for Strive you. is, Strive is being like from from people who have like played it like recently. They mm-hmm. said that it's, that it's really, really easy to like. Yeah, Strive is a very yeah. simple footsies based gameplay that's um that 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 actually makes me want to play it because that's that's the type of style of game i like i don't really like the traditional anime fighters where it's a lot of you know uh combos and locking you in the corner i was in the closed beta for strive last year around april may i played it incredibly early but i had an absolute blast like it, it just felt super fluid it was hella fun, and people who were in the That's recent good. yeah, Mesa, weren't you in the recent? Yeah, I was. Yeah, it, I basically yeah, yeah, I sat down, learned one combo, and won like eighty five percent of my matches. So <laughs> <laughs> nice. it's just like it's so much fun, and it's so like loud and in your face, and it's such like mm-hmm. a rock and roll style thing. That and honestly, Robo-Key that's what stands it. out for me, huh? I want to know if Robo Key is in it. I don't know. They haven't revealed that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they haven't revealed that. I played as him once and I was like, this is my main. And then I fucking played newer ones and I was like, oh, he's oh, he's not in yeah. anymore. Okay. Let's, There's uh, a lot of characters that never come back. 